Jason Capson here and good veto for the win. Could, could, could good veto be the big surprise at this weekend's Arnold Classic South America show? Uh, based on these pictures, I think he might just shock the entire world. Nick from uh, Nick Strength and Power did a, a, a video today uh, with a couple of good points and I want to bring up those points, but he also made one uh, glaring mistake that I want to talk about as well. But let's talk about Good Vito and the latest update from Good Vito. Uh, this guy is huge. I mean, he is absolutely gigantic from head to toe. Now, as you know, he has not made his pro debut. This will be his pro debut and people have been looking forward to this for a long, long time. Now, Last night, there was an impromptu pose down uh, with some of the competitors and of course, Good Vito dropped his drawers and there were his legs, which are definitely one of his strongest points, if not the strongest point uh, in, on his body. And his legs were absolutely amazing. I mean, they blew everyone else out of the water with regards to their size, with regards to the cross striations, with regards to the depth of the definition. Uh, the guy's got incredible legs. Now, this picture from, you know, a few days before, him doing his most muscular pose, and yeah, Nick mentioned, you know, that he didn't have any striations in his shoulder. I mean, this is a side angle, so it's hard to tell, but this guy is a monster, and I would not be surprised in the least if he walks away as the champion from the Arnold Classic South America show, what do you guys think? Put your comments down below. What do you guys think? First of all, this little impromptu showdown, I think Tony Burton um, may have um, met his match. Now I know going into this show, as Nick had mentioned, I had mentioned in my last uh, video, that Tony Burton is the highest ranked competitor in this show. He finished eight at the Olympia and he is on paper the favorite to win this show. But based on his legs, I mean, this, this picture here, this was obviously before he started carving up. He, it clearly says no pump, no filter, no food. Woke up like this. Well, I hope he wakes up the morning of the show better than this or he is not going to finish in first place. Yes, Tony has a very nice physique from head to toe, top to bottom, but his legs are not even close to good vetoes. Now, over the last year or so, conditioning has played a huge role in the wins. I mean, look at Hottie. Hottie, you know, wins the show every time based on conditioning. Yes, he's got the size, he's got the, he's got everything. Uh, it's hard to compare Hottie to these guys. If Hottie shows up, he wins this competition hands down. That said, I don't think Tonio Burton is going to win the show based on what I saw in this impromptu pose down, based on what I'm seeing a couple of days before he carves up and carves up. The separation of his legs are just not, it's just not there. He doesn't have the definition. Yes, again, very pleasing physique, top to bottom, very balanced, but Good Vito is a mass monster with absolutely diced legs. And if his upper body looks even close to his lower body, no one's touching him. No one is touching him. And during this impromptu pose down, the only person who was a favorite to, to win that didn't get up is Rafa. And you know what's interesting, back in the day, I always told people, like, it's, it's the person over in the corner that's quiet. It's the person over in the corner that's quiet that you gotta be really be, be careful of. The ones that are out front loud and obnoxious and, and taking the stage and stomping around, Usually, you know, it's, it's more, more uh, bark than bite. Um, I think it was really cool that Rafa sat there with his suit on, just the sunglasses on, cool as a cucumber, just sitting there. That's the guy we got to be careful. I still think Rafa is going to win this show. Um, I think there's a reason he kept under wraps. I think he's going to get on that stage. This is the show, as everyone knows, that he has wanted to win for a long, long time. He, this, is, this is his show, and he came to win this show. So I think it's going to be really difficult based on the fact that he finished third at the Arnold Classic Ohio and looked amazing at that show. I think this is his show to win or lose. 
In second place, though, I think it's going to be interesting because, again, you've got you know, good veto that's looking incredible. You've got Tony Burton in that lineup. Uh, and then you got John De La Rosa. Now, John De La Rosa, we haven't seen a whole lot of updates from him recently. Here is a picture. I'm not sure. This was on his Instagram uh, in the last few days, but I'm not sure if this is a recent physique update or not. That said, even if he shows up in the best shape of his life, I still don't think it's going to be enough to win this show. I think this show at this point is between Rafa and I think it's between him and Good Vito. I think Tony is going to be in third spot, maybe even fourth, based on what I'm seeing here. Now, I could be wrong. Give me your thoughts. Give me your comments down below. Uh, let me know what you think about the Arnold Classic South America show. Uh, starts tonight and uh, goes on through the weekend. Now, next up, I want to talk about one of the things that Nick mentioned in his video today, and that was about uh, Nick Walker and how Nick Walker's legs look pretty disappointing. Now, in fairness, I think Nick did his video before this latest update, this latest photo of Nick Walker came out, which came out you know, just a few minutes ago, actually. Uh, this is him at 281 pounds, it says, which is shocking to me. Yes, his legs don't have... The, the, legs, the legs look better in this photo than the one that Nick showed on Nick Strength and Power showed on his video from today. This is a much better picture of Nick Walker. Based on this picture, at six weeks out, there is no one touching Nick Walker for the New York Pro. Tony, there's, unless Hadi shows up in really good shape, then Nick Walker has got this show in the bag. There's no one touching him. I don't care who else shows up. The only person possible that can beat that physique, well, there's two people. <laughs> you know, you've got Hadi and of course you have Derek. They're the only two that can beat that physique or what, what, what that physique could be. I mean, he's got six weeks and he looks absolutely incredible. He looks very, very tight. His, leg, his upper body looks insane. This is just a front relaxed pose and he looks really, really good. Does have some deep separation in his quads. The feathering's not quite there yet, but I think that shot that Nick showed this morning was just a bad angle uh, and was, his legs were washed out. They're still a little washed out in this picture itself, but based on this picture, based on Nick's past, based on everything that we know about Nick Walker, he's going into the New York Pro as hands down the favorite, and I don't think anyone's touching that body. So there's the latest update. That's my predictions. I think we might see uh, uh, an upset at the Arnold Classic South America, but I still have my, if I was to bet, which I'm not a betting man, but if I was a betting man, I still have my money on Rafa. I have good veto in second. I have Tony Burton in third as of right now. What do you guys think? Let me know. Talk to you soon. Coach Jason Capson. Take care, guys.